Teamwork and Leadership. What is leadership? What do your favorite teacher, a coach, and the President of the United States all have in common? All are leaders. Leadership is motivating others to work toward a goal. Leaders guide, direct, and influence people. Businesses also have leaders. How well they lead affects the success of their businesses. Leadership qualities. Many leaders share the same qualities. Leaders are good communicators. Leaders are able to receive information, interpret it, and pass it to others effectively. They speak with authority, believe in what they are saying, and project enthusiasm. Leaders have vision. Leaders have a clear idea of where they want to go and how to get there. For example, a business person should see clearly the future he or she wants for the company. Leaders involve others. Leaders inspire others to work toward their goals. Business leaders help workers to achieve their maximum potential. Leaders are decisive. Leaders have good judgment and use their knowledge and experience to make wise decisions. Leaders are positive. Leaders strive for success and often are able to turn failure into success. Many successes are built on past failures. Do you have some of the qualities of a good leader? Of course, no one is born with all of these qualities. You probably have some of these qualities, though, and you can work to develop others. Learning the attributes of leadership and honing your leadership skills are the first steps toward becoming a leader. Figure 14.1 lists various leadership qualities. Figure 14.1 leadership qualities is listed right here. Um, I also put a copy of it in the uh, Google Classroom so you can look at it at your leisure. Leadership styles. How you behave when you are in charge of other people is called your leadership style. These are the four basic leadership styles. Directing or giving others specific instructions and closely supervising tasks. Coaching, which means closely supervising but also explaining decisions and asking for suggestions. Supporting, or sharing decision-making responsibility and encouraging the independent completion of tasks. And finally, delegating, or turning over the responsibility for decision-making and completion of tasks to others. Effective leaders change or mix management styles according to the situation. The challenge is to decide which style will work best in a given situation. A directing style may work best with unskilled workers, for instance, and a supporting style may be better for workers with more skills and experience. Leading a meeting. As a leader or supervisor, you will probably have to lead meetings. Many business meetings are casual. In other words, they do not follow a strict set of rules. An example of a casual meeting is team members gathering to discuss progress on a project. You may have been involved in casual meetings at school. Parliamentary procedure. To keep formal meetings involving many people running smoothly, many organizations follow a process with strict rules of order that is known as parliamentary procedure. This process was developed in Parliament, England's governing body. A meeting conducted according to parliamentary procedure follows an agenda. This is a list of topics drawn up beforehand that will be discussed at the meeting. The first item on the agenda may be a reading of the minutes, a written summary of the last meeting. The agenda will also probably include unfinished business or topics from the last meeting that need more discussion and new business. Leadership Tips for Supervisors If you are a supervisor, you will want to know how to work well with others and manage people effectively. Here are some tips. Provide enough training and be a patient teacher. Give clear directions. Know when to intervene. Do not be afraid to admit when you have made a mistake. Be consistent in what you say and do. Treat workers fairly and equally. Be firm when necessary. Recognize effort and initiative. Congratulate in public. Reprimand in private. Make sure that workers understand what you expect from them. Treat workers the way you would like to be treated.